Okay, spring is near. Time to start thinking about mowing the lawn. See here I have um, two lawnmowers. My gasoline power, which is retiring. It's um, 11 years old. It's not cranking. It would take me uh, more money to repair this than it would it is worth. So it needs a new cable to start to uh, uh, enable star mix because that's broke. It needs a new air uh, filter housing because that broke. It needs new uh, blades. This um, for the pool. The pull rope needs to be replaced. It's just loose. It it or it has to be rewound. It's just uh, more work than what it's worth. And um, next to it, I have a uh, electric uh, works 24 volt lead acid that my brother-in-law donated to me. And it's not working for him. He went back to conventional gas. Uh, his first experience with electric lawnmowers was this 24 volt uh, lead acid, which it doesn't function very well. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up. It doesn't sound like quite enough to mow the yard. Let me look at the power on it. It says it's fully charged and uh, lead acid what you gonna do so we're gonna go and uh, uh, repower this thing I'm gonna use a drill lead acid battery I'm mean, not a drill lithium-ion battery 18 volts I can't use my weed eater battery because the uh, powder power output is 40 volts and this clearly states it's 24 volts. So that would tend to, I guess, bust this lawnmower. Powered, making sure that uh, we can power this with less voltage. I have a uh, 12 volt battery charger plugged into it. And it's just on the terminals like that. Of course, I did ver validate that I did plug positive and negative correctly. So, 12 volts, let's see, much more uh, output, because we're driving more amperage, but um, I don't think this would quite cut it, or, or we're, we're probably driving more voltage than what that um, lead acid battery is driving right now. I'll test that next. But this is not a valid solution for a battery operated lawnmower to strap a battery charger to it and then run an extension cord out to mow the yard. Not uh, optimal. So next we'll check the 12 volt battery or the 24 volt battery to see what kind of voltage we're seeing. There's my problem. I've got 8 volts on this 24 volt lead acid battery. Serious uh, dis discrepancy from where it should be. Uh, the charger's unplugged. I don't know why. It just keeps, looks like it's going up. But uh, that would uh, be an issue. So. Let's, uh, I'm going to keep this thing on the charger. I may take it apart, see what kind of batteries are actually in it. But there's, there's the issue. I didn't have any clips that would fit this. So I went ahead and fashioned my own. Let's see, focus. I bent this clip making it wider to accommodate the larger connection. 
I then went ahead and I had two battery choices to ch choose from. I had nickel metal hydrate, which was my Makita, and then I had these uh, Devo DeWalt 18 volt batteries hanging around. You see, I've already got the cables plugged in. I've tested. This side, of course, is positive. This is negative. Because uh don't want to run my lithium battery on that stupid lawnmower when I have a, a valid solution coming in the mail. I ordered the other lawnmower off Amazon. Fashioned all my connectors. Um, uh, if I was doing this right, I would actually go buy connectors. Probably make a uh, connector that would plug in here and plug out and plug in here and be quick removable. Also key it to where it wouldn't, uh, you couldn't plug in the wrong way. So here it is. Let's go ahead and see if this works better than the 24 volt uh, lead acid. Oh wow. Let's go, uh, I'm going to go make some rounds on the lawn. See how what uh, mows. And then uh, see if these wires heat up. They don't feel very hot right now. And one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to hurt my lithium ion cell. Except, especially since I have a uh, another lawnmower coming. Mowed a little spot of grass. These wires aren't hot. So, did an area not very big. So, let me do some more mowing to see how long this battery will last. Not here, but did uh, one side of the house, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate that without talking. Before I started mowing, this uh, battery pack was up to 20 volts. Now it's 19.1 with that uh, that little bit of mowing I did. The wiring never got hot, and so I think it's safe to continue to mow the other side. Really don't want this pack to get below 18 volts. Finish mowing the entire front yard. And uh, with a little 18 volt battery, I started out with over 20 volts. I am down to 18.5. And this is uh, using a DeWalt to repower a works lead acid lawnmower. Now let's go look at the lawn and see how much space I covered. So this is the end of my video. Uh, of course I will have a works lawnmower coming in that I don't have to repower. And we'll see how that works. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like if you like this video.